Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just gonna be kind, sort of, a video response for Brother Paul, Serene Madness. Um, said, show what you got for Christmas. So, I will show the relevant stuff. Oh, you freaking thing, good timing. Alright, whatever, I'm gonna just deal with the noise. First run, that's it. Stupid hot water heater. Alright. Um, I'm going to start out with... Yeah, okay, I'm not going to yell. Um, good little package from Brother Paul. So, he sent me this cool little card. Some... Uh, that is awesome, bro. Thank you. Um, included with that was this cool sticker and some business cards, which I'm not going to divulge the information on them, but they have uh, 2014 calendars on the back, which I passed one to my son. Uh, Paul and um, he said the calendar already came in use. So, actually, I didn't hand it to him; he just took it. But, <laughs> but you know. And um, then I got this really cool thing. An awesome card. Oh, how neat is that? My camera's trying to uh, lock on the face. Stop that camera. All right. Anyway. Just cover that up so it cuts it out. It's making my camera wig out. Um, so I get this awesome card. Number five. And I can't read through the viewfinder too good and know I'm holding it right. So i just hold it long enough to get a read. You can always pause it if you wanted. Anyway. Approved. Chuck Norris approved. Yeah, back there he's saying it. All right, but um, wicked cool. So that's going in my wallet for sure. Yeah. So um, thank you, bro. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, if anybody knows me, I'm not a Christmas card guy. Meaning, I've never sent them. Just never have. But um, I always appreciate getting one. You know, and that's the my only card this year. So. That's pretty darn cool. So thanks, bro. Really appreciate it. Um, all right, next up. What else did I get for Christmas? All right, well, here's something silly. You've all heard of them, but have you ever seen them? It's Tiddlywinks. <laughs> yeah, this was a joke of going around the house about Tiddlywinks and... Uh, telling my son to go play tiddlywinks. <laughs> and he seemed to hate the word. Well, next thing you know, my mother got me some tiddlywinks. Old game I remember from when I was a little kid at my grandmother's house. In which you get these little plastic discs and a little cup and you take a bigger disc and you press down on the edge of the little ones to make them pop up in the air and try to get them in the cup, basically. So it's kind of cool. Kind of an old timey looking box too. Demonstration. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, that shows what comes in it. Little bag of the plastic chips in the cup. Kinda cool. Anyway, that's that. Um bought myself a Christmas present. Um DVD, the Seven Samurai from Oh crap, 1956 I think. Um, anybody gets a chance to watch it, if you don't mind watching a subtitled movie, it was an awesome, awesome film. So, um, highly recommended. Check it out if you can. Actually, I think I even saw it on YouTube, so you might even be able to watch it there. A little fuzzy, but... Um, let's see, what else? Well, let's go for some humor. What we have here is 
I'll get it in view. Original redneck wine glass. So you get kind of like a moonshine mason jar with a stem. Lid included. <laughs> Thought it was damn funny. Pretty cool thing. Might test it out. I don't know. But, um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, my son got one. And it's one of the, um, it's got the same neck here. But it's a solo cup. A red solo cup. A red solo cup. So that's, you know, another redneck style wine glass, as they put it. So, that was pretty cool. Uh oh. Now I've done it. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what else. Alright, this is pretty interesting. <clears throat> we got Global Hot Sauce Collection. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm getting bugged to try these. So We have a... Uh, oh. Peruvian garlic hot sauce, teriyaki hot sauce, West Indies cayenne hot sauce, Pharaoh's revenge hot sauce. Yeah, I bet that's going to be a revenge in the bathroom. Um, Southwestern jalapeno, um, Jamaican habanero hot sauce. Hot, 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 hot. I wonder if it's lying. And Cabo Juan's <laughs> chipotle sauce. So... These ought to be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what the teriyaki one's like. What the Jamaican one? And yeah, we're both interested in the Jamaican just to see if it's as hot as all the hot hot hots it has on there. With any luck, maybe I'll even try one on cam sometime. And the Chipotle, I've been kind of really into Chipotle sauces lately. They kind of get this cool smoky flavor, so. Definitely looking forward to them, but I got two open ones in the fridge, so I'm not going to get to that one right away. But, um, pretty cool thing. Pretty cool set. <clears throat> A little bit of hot sauce history on the back, and no, I'm not going to sit here and read all that. But. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to spin us. Got that little table there, just a little folding table like a TV tray, but it's all wood, and that's going to be for my grinder, so I don't get uh, grinder crap all over the all over the bench. You know, it's kind of a pain trying to cover everything up and try not to let metal dust get everywhere. I'll just have it on one little separate table. Uh, over on this end, yep, I'm spinning it around again. I also got a little stool for the bench, so that's going to be nice. One of these deals, it's I talk about meaning to get them, and then finally somebody said, well, instead of me talking about it, they're just going to give it. So it was kind of cool. Very comfortable. And it's very comfortable? Yeah, well, that's good. Alrighty, and uh, last but not least, I got that Walmart Kershaw set. I had gotten the one from last year, and now I got this year's. And it also came with a flashlight. Here's the, here's the blister for it. So it had a... Let's have it upside down. Here there was a black flashlight, like last year's came with. Last year came with a pen, the Kershaw Brawler and the flashlight and the same flashlight this year which is a pretty cool flashlight and I'm guessing that's supposed to be the swerve and this is supposed to be the free fall I'm guessing I'm just going by top to bottom left to right so I'm gonna assume and as far as these go um, they're not bad they're actually kinda cool looking you got this K pattern in this one um, different type of lanyard thing. I think this is all nylon, glass filled nylon type of stuff. We have, yep, China. Um, cool shirt. deep carry pocket clip. Although this one, there's a little tab up here that it fits into, but it looks like it's not quite popping onto that tab right. 
but what do you expect for the price? I mean, this set's 20 bucks, so two blades, 20 bucks. This one here does not flip open. And when I loosened it up to a point where I could kind of get it to flip open, it um, was too loose. So, but we had some jimping on the back of the blade. Cool little Tanto design. It's actually remarkably comfortable. It just fits nice. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get it to quite flip. I think I can if I point it like straight down. No. Yeah, a little awkward around the camera, but not a bad little blade. The only thing with this particular one, I don't know if they're all like that, but I got a little bit of lock rock here. And it looks like the lock wants to push to the side a little bit. Which, you know, not going to be a big deal. I don't cut with the back of my blade, so not really too concerned about it. But it's not a bad little piece. And then there was this one, which was what? The free fall, I think? This one flips nice. I don't get it. Every once in a while it kind of hangs up a little bit, but it doesn't flip too bad. Big broad blade. A little bit of a bull nose up here. Very cool backspacer. Still relatively deep carry. It's kind of neat how the clip gets bolted in and there. And they're not actually too heavy of knives either. I don't have a scale for them, but this one's not bad. Actually, out of the two, I think, believe this one was the sharper of the two. The other one, I think, with a little stropping will be a razor blade, but this one was a little sharper. I do kind of dig that back back design, though. It just kind of looks good. Um, see, that one didn't work. Okay, here we go. Um, the air. I don't know if that showed up. I don't know if my eyes are blurry or it's the camera. It's probably me. Um, 3CR13 steel. Don't know. I'm assuming it's like a cheaper version of 8CR13. But. So it's probably a little softer. Probably won't hold its edge as long. I'm going to try it out on a piece of the box from that light uh, light cup Let's see if I can tear it why would I tear a chunk off when I could cut a chunk off right? Ooh. I almost took a piece of my knuckle with that that's pretty good all right so just a little it's not bad it's pretty clean cut try the other one out uh, a little harder Still cuts all right though, but I think a little stropping will make it make it come out pretty good. So there we go. There's the the Christmas haul, and hope to see some Christmas hauls from you other guys too. So um, take care, have a great one, and I will see you soon. Latest.